My name is Davina Jogi and I'm the president of the Zimbabwe Association of Female Photographers or the ZAFP. As an association we focus on networking, uh, particularly social media networking to spread opportunities, job opportunities, grant opportunities, exhibition opportunities, um, to just share information about photography in Zimbabwe and globally um, and to keep our photographers aware of what's happening. Um, and we also focus on project-based training. I think we realized that there was a real lack of experience in the photography industry as a whole, particularly in, as photojournalists, because the media industry, I think, has suffered from um, a lot of professionals leaving because of the lack of press freedom. So we were a very young industry, and we thought that maybe we could get together and help each other in some way. I think we also realized that as women, we were facing additional uh, challenges, uh, particularly in terms of being taken seriously by editors and employers. I think there still persists this idea in Zimbabwe that photography is not a very serious profession to begin with, but especially for women that there are types of photography that women should get into, like wedding photography, events, maybe baby shoots, but that serious photography like news photography, photojournalism was for men and should always be for men. My name is Angela Jim and I'm the Vice President of the Zimbabwe Association of Female Photographers. One of the main objectives of the ZAFP is to bring together female photographers who are professionals so that they network, they learn from each other and they have a platform to showcase their work. That's the main objective of the ZAFP. In 2013, May 2013, we officially launched with an exhibition called Shutter Opener. The event was sponsored by the US Embassy. Um, and a number of private sponsors. Um, and we got a lot of support from the Zimbabwe Union of Journalists as well as the Ministry of Women's Affairs. Um, the, actually, the exhibition was opened by the Deputy Minister for Women's Affairs at the time, who was uh, Jessica Majome. What I enjoy most about the ZNFP is the networking. I get to see other photographers working. I get to learn from them. I get to learn from their experiences. I get to learn new techniques and new skills by just networking with other female photographers. So that's what I enjoy the most. Photography is not respected in Zimbabwe, especially in the newsrooms. You have people saying, ah, that person is just a photographer, not knowing the importance of visuals in telling a story. In August 2013, we were funded by HIVAS and the Royal Dutch Embassy, Royal Netherlands Embassy, to um, carry out a project where we documented daily life in Zimbabwe during, before and after the national elections. A lot of international journalists come to Zimbabwe looking for a particular story and leave as soon as they found it. But they don't find the ordinary day-to-day -day stories of the Zimbabwean experience. And so we felt that as female photographers and as local Zimbabweans, there was a different angle that we could tell. That project was critically acclaimed by the local press. We were on Hair Zimbabwe Daily News, Newsday, and internationally we were showcased on Ed Cash's blog. Ed Cash is a member of Seven Agency. The challenges that we are currently facing are that we do not have any institutional funding. We are funded on a project basis. So once the project is finished, we do not have funds to continue with other programs. For instance, training to improve our photography skills and any other activities that we may want to do. I think that as an association we're very clear on the fact that as women we have a different story to tell and that our perspective is missing.